In the tech world's Game of Thrones, Microsoft is currently wearing the crown, having recently surpassed Apple to become the most valuable publicly traded company. This milestone was achieved as Microsoft's market cap hit the $3 trillion mark, edging out Apple's $2.9 trillion. The shift in rankings coincides with Satya Nadella's 10th anniversary as CEO of Microsoft, a tenure marked by strategic moves that have paid off big time. What specifically can Microsoft do? I think our best days are ahead of us because it's a software-powered world. Under Nadella's leadership, Microsoft had made several bets on cloud infrastructure early on, all while dodging the scandals that tripped up its competitors. Meanwhile, Apple has been more cautious in the AI race, but rumors suggest they might reveal significant AI developments later this year. However, Microsoft's lead in AI seems solid, especially with its latest venture, a partnership with Semaphore, a news website founded by veterans from BuzzFeed, The New York Times, and Bloomberg Media Group in 2022. This collaboration will leverage AI tools to aid journalists in researching news across languages, showcasing a promising application of Microsoft's AI tech beyond gimmicky polls. As Microsoft continues to innovate and push boundaries in AI, it's clear that Nadella's strategy has positioned the company at the forefront of the tech industry's future. If you look at cloud, AI, and the open data initiative, the idea that even a small business in Indonesia can now use SAP, Adobe, and Microsoft to become that much more efficient is the real opportunity. Google is streamlining all of its AI efforts under one banner, Gemini. Say goodbye to the bar chatbot and hello to Gemini, which is not just a rebrand, but the future of Google's AI aspirations. The tech giant is integrating Gemini across the board, launching a dedicated Android app that could replace Google Assistant for many users. Despite not having a dedicated iOS app, iPhone users won't be left in the dust since they can also access Gemini's AI prowess via the Google app. Gemini is more than a chatbot now. It's a multifaceted AI tool that combines the functionality of an assistant, a search engine, and more, all aimed at making digital tasks easier and more intuitive. Google's commitment to Gemini is evident. They're even signaling a potential shift in priority from its traditional search engine to this new AI-driven approach. The introduction of Gemini Ultra 1.0 available through a $20 monthly Google One AI premium plan, underscores Google's ambition. This version promises unparalleled AI capabilities from deeper context understanding to handling complex tasks like coding. Google's move to consolidate its AI features under the Gemini brand from everyday tasks in Google Workspace to advanced AI interactions marks a significant pivot towards becoming an AI-first company. In the ever-evolving AI landscape, Google's all-in bet on Gemini represents a major step in competing with giants like OpenAI and others, aiming to redefine what an AI company can be. And with Google handling a lot of workspaces and being our main search engine for so long, this could be a very big change moving forward. Anime streaming is taking a dramatic turn as Funimation exits the stage on April 2nd, 2024, and Crunchyroll steps into the spotlight. This isn't just a simple change of platforms, it's a major shift impacting subscription prices and digital collections. For loyal Funimation subscribers, prepare for a price hike. The cozy $5.99 monthly fee for the Premium Plus plan is jumping to $9.99 for Crunchyroll's Mega Fan plan, with Canadian fans facing a $12.49 Canadian dollar charge. And it's not just a few facing this increase, it's a widespread change affecting many. Adding to the disappointment, Crunchyroll won't be supporting Funimation's digital copy feature, meaning any digital copies you've saved will vanish. This move isn't out of the blue. Since Sony merged Crunchyroll and Funimation in 2021, it was clear that Crunchyroll was becoming the main focus. Now with Funimation shutting down, Crunchyroll is where the anime action will be. If you're wondering what to do next, 
there's help for transferring your watch history and queue to Crunchyroll. But with rising costs and the laws of digital copies, sticking with Crunchyroll might not be as appealing. It's a tough situation for anime fans, facing both higher prices and the end of an era with Funimation. This has been Marty, and I'll see you tomorrow.